The book of Jude tells us that Enoch, the seventh from Adam, prophesied in chapter 1, verses 14 and 15. Jude makes a direct reference to the book of Enoch, where he writes, And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against them. When we compare Jude's writings to Enoch's words, we see Jude is quoting directly from Enoch. As a matter of fact, the quote is word for word. Enoch chapter 1 verse 9 reads, Therefore, Jude's reference to and quotes from the Enochian prophecies strongly suggests the book of Enoch was available to him at that time, and Jude considered the book of Enoch credible and authentic. Fragments of ten Enoch manuscripts were found among the Dead Sea Scrolls. The number of scrolls indicate the Essenes, a Jewish commune or sect at the time of Christ, could well have used the Enochian writings as a community book or teacher's manual and study text. Many of the early church fathers supported the Enochian writings. Justin Martyr ascribed all evil to demons he alleged to be the offspring of the angels who fell through lust for women, directly referencing the Enochian writings. The ideas and beliefs within much of modern Christianity originated in the Book of Enoch. The Ethiopian Coptic Church holds the Book of Enoch as part of its official spiritual canon and it is included in their Bible. Although Enoch was widely known and read the first three centuries after Christ, it and many other books became discredited after the Council of Laodicea and being under ban of the authorities, it gradually disappeared from circulation. In 1773, a Scottish traveler and explorer named James Bruce returned from six years in Abyssinia, Ethiopia, with copies of the Book of Enoch. In the following years, several portions of the Greek text surfaced. Then, with the discovery of K4 at Qumran, seven fragmentary copies of the Aramaic text were discovered. Later, another Book of Enoch surfaced. This text, dubbed To Enoch, or the Slavonic Enoch, was discovered in 1886 by Professor Sokolov in the archives of the Belgrade Public Library. It appears that just as the Ethiopian Enoch, one Enoch, escaped the 6th century church suppression of Enoch texts in the Mediterranean area, so a Slavonic Enoch survived, far away long after the originals from which it was copied were destroyed or hidden. The last great book of the Enochian tradition is Three Enoch, or the Hebrew Book of Enoch. The book claims to be authored by Rabbi Ishmael, a highly respected and brilliant priest living between 90 and 130 A.D., Three Enoch has its roots in the Metatron tradition, which has Enoch ascending to heaven and being translated into the angel Metatron. He is then given authority over the angels and the earthly nations. Three Enoch continues and expands the Enochian tradition. The book you are about to hear not only relates the texts of 1st, 2nd, and 3rd Enoch in their totality, it also explores the calendar of Enoch and how it relates to the prophecies of Daniel. Lastly, this work looks at the origins of angels and demons as explained through the combined texts of books of Enoch, 1st and 2nd Adam and Eve, Jasher, Jubilees, the War Scrolls, the Book of Giants, the Bible, and other ancient texts.